This short video is going to tell you how to use Mintel and how to export the reports that you're going to find on Mintel Online. It's one of our databases that we've got listed on our database um, list on our home page and it can be found under the Consumer Behavior section. Mintel Reports is number six. When you click on it, you're not taken immediately to the database. There's an interim page here describing the fact that you have to create a username and password of your own before you can output the information that you have selected. Once you've read that and get a little handle on what you're going to have to do, it really only takes a moment, um, you can click on Access the Database. The next page will be a page where you will be having to agree. I've already agreed, so it, it just is acknowledging that fact. You can start your searching here. I'm going to do a search for gluten-free. Um, you can search for most lifestyle kinds of things, um, everyday things like travel, you know, products that you would use. You're going to see, hopefully, a report. I was lucky enough to find gluten-free foods. There are an articles, analyst insight further on that you can take a look at, as well as um, other means by which you can modify your search. This is a predominantly U.S. database with some European, not much Canadian. Clicking on the gluten-free foods report, you're going to see a lot of information that you really want. So you can take a look at issues um, and you can take a look at the executive summary. For scrolling down, you'll see trend applications. Then as you go further, you'll take a look and see forecasts, market drivers, the competitive context. Here you'll have consumer information, so attitudes and segmentation and usage. And then further on, you will see brand information and data. I'm just going to stay in the brand information section, and I'm going to click on the prepared foods part. Here you'll note that this is something that's perhaps of great value to you. As you scroll down, you will see specific products, and you'll say to yourself, yes, this is of value to me. Click on export to basket. This goes into a little holding area. Go back to this little arrow section and then search for the other sections that you might be interested in. For example, perhaps market size and forecast. That information will be brought up. You're going to look at it and see, yes, it's giving me numbers, it's giving me figures. I really want this information. Export to, bar to basket. You can do this as much as you want. At the end of collecting all of the data, Click on Export to Basket. There are the uh, reports that you've chosen. And then click on Download. It's here that you're going to be asked to um, create your own profile before you can do the actual exporting. If you have any problems at any time with any of the resources that we're talking to you about, please don't hesitate to contact us or come into the library. And we, we'll be more than willing to give you a hand.